Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with the Network and Sharing Center not opening or displaying properly on your Windows 10 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu, type in CMD, Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you just want to go ahead and type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in your keyboard to run this command. It will take some time to run, so just please be patient. Okay, so once that is done here, you're going to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the Start menu, type in Network Reset. Best result should go back with Network Reset. Go ahead and left click on that. So make sure you have your Wi Fi key saved nearby so when we restart our computer, it will reset the network. So you're going to have to enter that back in. If you're using an Ethernet connection, you don't have to worry about that. So anyway, this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select Yes. And then you will need to go ahead and just close out of any open programs and applications and restart your system here.
Okay, there we go, guys. It's asking if you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs. That's a personal choice. I'm just going to select no. It doesn't really matter. In your case, if maybe you have uh, shared printers or other devices, you might be using file sharing, so you probably would want to enable that. But anyway, that should hopefully be about it for this tutorial, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.